Hi, I'm Keith McCoy with Solutions Pest and Lawn. You know, bed bugs are probably the fastest growing concern in the United States. I'm in a bedroom here where we've got some bed bug activity, and today we're going to use a very unique device called uh, Climb Up Insect Interceptor. Uh, we use this device without the use of any pesticide. But before we get started with our install, I want to go over some areas of concern. So here are my areas of concern. Uh, the bed frame, we definitely want that bed frame out away from the wall. We don't want it to be touching the wall. That just gives bed bugs an opportunity to come up the wall and climb over onto the bed. Also, we have a, some extension cords, phone cords, and things like that down here uh, that are touching the bed frame. That's just a freeway for the bed, bed bugs to access the uh, mattress area. Also, we have a bed skirt here. The bed skirt is actually touching the floor, uh, which gives the bed bugs an alternative route to the the mattress and so uh, that's very important that we fix those areas before we use the climb up device uh, which is going to be set up underneath the legs. Okay so we're in position to install our climb ups and what we're going to do is take each one of these and we're going to place it under each leg of the uh, bed frame. Now this particular bed actually has a box spring that's inside of the actual iron bed frame so instead of installing a, a normal four of these climb ups we're actually going to install eight so what we're going to do is we're going to lift the frame up and we're going to slide the climb up directly up underneath the legs and gently set it down and we're going to go ahead and continue on and finish this install and then i'll be right back with you so we've actually installed our eight climb ups on this particular bed frame um, and, you know and one of the key uh, factors of uh, being successful with the climb up is is doing the prep work prior to us installing these and that was getting the skirt up off the floor the wires off the floor the bed frame out from up uh, against the wall because uh, we want the bed bugs to actually climb up the uh, the bed post to get to the mattress so uh, that's just going to increase the success rate of these guys so um, one thing about it is that you might want to check these periodically uh, bed bugs usually feed maybe about once a week um, it doesn't actually kill them uh, they actually get caught in there and this actually has a lining of talc powder uh, so once you get bed bugs in here you can actually take it and just dispose of them in the in the uh, uh, toilet and just flush them or you can put them in a bag tie and uh, a tight knot around it and just dispose of them outside. Uh, once you do that, take a cotton ball and then you can just put some fresh talc powder on the inside lining of this bowl and then don't touch it, just touch the exterior and then you're ready to go again. So um, there are a few bed uh, frames out there that might be a little bit large uh, and won't fit inside the uh, disc of the climb up. So if that's the case, unfortunately, you might not be able to use these. But it doesn't actually eliminate a bed bug problem. But let me tell you, it's a great tool to use to monitor. You can be uh, proactive a lot of uh, uh, hotels, uh, uh, apartments, uh, a lot of those places use these uh, climb ups just for monitoring purposes. Uh, so think about it. Uh, if you've got a problem or you think that you might have a problem, this would be a great tool for you to use. Uh, for more information, you can uh, call us on our 800 number or you can visit our website at solutionstores.com. I'm Keith McCoy with Solutions Pest and Lawn. Ask us how, then do it yourself.